with the Pokemon Scarlet DLC Indigo Disc recently dropping. We have a brand new part of the map opened up with the Blueberry Cat Academy Terrarium and a bunch of new Pokemon added to the game. So those of you guys that are looking to EV train your Pokemon, I'm not going to be explaining it in depth in this video, but if you know what EV training is and you play Pokemon competitively, these are going to be some of the best EV training spots for each stat in the game to help you EV train fast and easily without wasting much time. So I'm gonna, without further ado, I'm going to get right into it. This is where you're going to be going on the map, which is right over here, right beside the, uh, the coastal rest area in the uh, coastal biome. Right here, you can actually find Tentacool and Tentacruel. Each of these mons actually give one and two points of special defense upon defeating them. And they are an incredibly common spawn. So even if you're just walking around over here, they're going to constantly be spawning in. So you won't have to waste any time running around looking for them when you're trying to EV train your Pokemon. So after that, let's hop into the next step. Up next, we're going to be traveling to the entrance of the Savannah biome. Here, you're going to be finding two specific other stats. We're going to be talking about defense and for attack. For defense, a Rhyhorn actually spawn here. Rhyhorn actually are an incredibly common spawn, and they give you one point of defense, but they're incredibly easy to defeat, and they're incredibly easy to spawn in. So it goes really fast. There's not really any two-point H or uh, defense uh, mons around here, but Rhyhorn's probably the best and easiest one to farm, at least on the map currently. And then we're also going to talk about attack. If you want any attack EVs, Doduo and Dodrio, as you guys can see running right there. Both of these Pokemon actually give uh, one and two points of attack for EVs upon defeating them. And they're also an incredibly common spawn over here in the same area where the Rhyhorn spawned. So, apart from that, let's talk about a few of the other stats. As for special attack EVs, you're going to want to go over to this part of the Savannah biome, right over into the corner, right on over here, kind of right across from the pond of where you're actually going to be farming for Tentacool and Tentacruel, right over here in the corner. Right here for special attack is a two common spawns of Drafferig and Exeggutor. Both of these are both common spawns and they both give two points of special attack each and they're really easy to farm and really quick to farm with how common of a spawn they are. So it's a really solid spot for both of these. And in this same area, we're actually gonna talk about speed because you can actually also farm speed EVs over here. Uh, in this exact same spot actually over here is where you, you can actually find Blitzel and Zipstrika, which are also a, a common spawn over here. I can't find any of them right now because they ain't really spawning in course when I'm talking about them, but there's one right there. Uh, Blitzel and Zebstrika both give one and two points of speed uh, per time you actually defeat them, and they're all also over in the same area. So if you're EV training for special attack and speed, you don't really have to rotate areas. You can kind of do both in the same areas once, which is kind of cool. So last but not least, let's talk about the last stat, and then I'll send you guys on your way. And last not but not least, we actually have HP. HP right over here is probably the, the most consistent spot, at least that I found personally, which is just right beside the canyon rest area right over here on the map in the, the, the canyon biome, right down here in the water. What you're going to want to be looking for over here is Chinchou and Lantern. Both of these Pokemon give one and two points of HP upon defeating them uh, per Mon, and they're also an incredibly common spawn over here, so you're going to be able to run into them just by surfing on the water and pretty much non-stop so it won't take you much time to EV train your Pokemon. Apart from that, let me know in the comments down below where are your guys' best EV training spots in the Blueberry Academy Terrarium. I know there's a few other places I could have mentioned in this video, but at least for this video it's more of like the easiest preference and the ones at least for me personally that I've been using that kind of saved me the most time. I know there's a few other spots that have a lot of similar like close together like EV training capabilities and that type of thing but let me know in the comments down below and for other people to know if there's any other good spots that can work really well or even better than the ones i stated in the video apart from that hopefully it's helped you leave a like subscribe share the video and uh good luck on your competitive adventures with ev training up all your competitive mods